Hello Guardians, welcome back to Destiny Tracker. My name is KillerB61 and today we have to talk about the five things you need to do when you jump into the beta. It's a new beta and you gotta do everything. So, number one, you have to play the campaign mission Homecoming. It is so different from what we're used to in Destiny 1. This mission represents Bungie's new approach to storytelling and Bungie isn't pulling any punches because this mission starts out with a huge bang. The Cabal have taken the fight to you. They're attacking the tower, and now you have to fight them off. You emerge from a collapsed portion of the tower. Then the first thing you will see is the Traveler, and the Cabal have placed a device on it, and you know things are bad. There are so many moments when you will look at the battle happening around you, and you will briefly zone out from that and realize, this place I'm fighting in, this, this is my home. This is where I've come to. At the end of each mission I've done for the past three years. And now it's gone. It's all gone. And this feeling will be one that you remember. And it will make you angry at Gaul. And it will motivate you just as much as it motivates the other players in the game to put a bullet in Gaul's head at the end. Number two. You have to play as much Crucible as you can. They are showing off the new game mode Countdown, which is lots of fun. It's essentially Destiny 2's version of Search and Destroy, but you're not permanently dead. It's different. It's the same, but it's different. I don't know how to explain it. It's, right, just play it. Play it a lot and love it. And tell us how much you love it on our Twitter channel, at Destiny Track. Number three, do yourself a favor and play as many of the subclasses as you can. Play all of the subclasses. You will have available to you the Striker, Sentinel, Voidwalker, Dawnblade, Gunslinger, and Arc Strider subclasses, and all of them are fresh. Even the returning ones are completely different in the way that they play and the situations that they fit into. The way they interact in multiplayer is beautiful and made even better in the PvE space. If you don't get a chance to play every single subclass, you're only hurting yourself. You're missing out. Dawnblade is awesome. The new Striker Titan is so much fun to play. Sentinel looks sweet. I can't wait to play that. Oh my god. Number four is you need to play the new strike, the Inverted Spire. It is a Vex and Cabal themed strike, which I think is why they chose this one to show off first. Because the boss encounter isn't the most amazing thing, it's certainly better than what we've had in the past, but this strike displays the variables in combat that you will need to consider when fighting through a mission. The new enemies fight differently, and as you encounter a new faction, you will have to change your fighting style even more. It is truly a rich and dynamic gameplay experience, and you have to try it. Oh, and you will meet the new AI character, Failsafe. I think she could potentially become the most annoying character in Destiny, but go and decide for yourself. Then finally, on the last day of the beta, you need to go to the farm. The new social space available in Destiny 2. This is where humanity will flee to and make its final stand as we try to rebuild our forces and survive the Cabal invasion. Go check it out, see what it has to offer, explore the space deeply because it will only be available for one hour. Make it count. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like at the bottom to let us know, and we would be so happy if you joined our community of awesome guardians by subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell icon at the bottom. Once again, my name is KillerBeast61. Have a great day, Guardian, and I will see you in the next one.